Thank you very much. Oh, this doesn't work, huh? I have to take this off. I, I'm so happy to say that the next one that we will have is present in the room. I hope. Sofia Kutkova, are you here? Come up here. Welcome. It makes it a bit more easy that you're standing here in front of us, huh? Um, I don't know exactly what you're going to say, but I think uh, it would be very interesting to hear your reflections on, on this new initiative. Huh? It's, it's trying to pave new ways of distribution of a Russian documentary. As, and obviously it's not only it causes problems to try new waves, but it's also it was very clear that the fact that 24 Doc is a commercial channel, of course, also means that, that although you need patience, we know that if you have to make a living from a new initiative, it shortens the period of patience. So I'm very curious to hear what you can say about your experiences with distributing Russian documentaries. The floor is yours. Thank you. So my name is Sofia Gutkova. I'm a producer. I'm here to present you the Moscow Project Documentary Film Center. First of all, I would like to thank the conference Docs Pro for that opportunity. And if you don't mind, I prefer to speak Russian because I'm Russian and I could be more persuasive in Russian. Thank you. Um, Okay, uh, we have prepared a short presentation of our center. I'm going to bring it up. Please just open it. I'm the director of the, of the Documentary Film Center. On the one hand, is a non-for-profit organization. We're just one year old. We're a young team. We have lots of plans for the future. As a platform, as a as a the movie theater, we opened three months ago in June this year. Our goal, as stated, is that there were a theatrical uh, platform. We were engaged uh, in distribution of documentary uh, to serve the goal of uh, popularization of documentary in Russia. This is our, what our mission is about. The first project that we uh, launched one year ago is the uh, the open screen where Abolankina, the general director of the 24 Dog, is one of the partners in this project. This, this was a flagship uh, project. Uh, project uh, we the aim was to uh, arrange uh, free of charge screenings once per week, uh, featuring different films, uh, but they have ha have to s uh, have one in common. That should be films that that will uh, raise discussion, that will trigger discussion, uh, socially oriented, medically oriented films. Um, of different variety. So, so our, there were 350 seats in our room. As we launched the audience, with, I heard that people would say that we're crazy, but this uh, project proved to be very successful. We have had six, uh, sorry, 7,000 people in the audience. After the screening, we, uh, we have a, we have a, talk, we arrange a talk show which we stream in in the internet because the the main partner in the project is uh, Russian news agency Ria Novosti. We invite uh, different people as speakers depending on which is the topic of uh, a film. A particular film in the movie theater Lub Arcus, uh, movie theater, uh, um, for, it, it, that first was screened in in, Av in Aurora, but in our hall we uh, we got uh, 300, 350 people as opposed to 80 people that came to see that film in that movie theater. We we have different films, uh, Russian, foreign films, uh, new films. Films, festival films, uh, film, an American film about a young couple that got married, uh, about their childhood, about their background, who their parents were, uh, how they get employed, uh, how they decide who is going to, to bring out trash, so very, uh, very 
a real story, but both of them are have Down syndromes, which is would be unthinkable in in Russia. Uh, the film resonated with lots of people. Uh, I got a telephone call the following day. A man called me to say thanks a lot for what you do. I'm a successful uh, uh, businessman, and my my wife uh, made me come to see this film. And I, I doubt it what it has to do with this film. But on the, my way back from from the theater, uh, on, on the back seat of my car, my my, my girl said said behind me in the car and she was chattering all the time and she said that while uh, leaving the, the movie theater I bumped uh, into the, the girl who said that you're wearing a very nice dress uh, seeming uh, looking very much like the girl in the audience and I understood said that man who called me that I I treated that people of with Down syndromes um, I, uh, to, to keep it to keep a distance from that, but my my little girl, my daughter, who who got, got who got experience or who got very close to to that, is going to have a different attitude. So the cru crucial thing is to choose a very uh, very relevant, very uh, acute topic, very hot button topic, and to uh, talk about it. Uh, another project was a week of national uh, films. Last week we had the uh, week of British uh, films, uh, then we had a week of Finnish films. We're continuing this year uh, based on a new platform. Uh, we're going to uh, to screen films and as part of uh, Israeli uh, week. In February, we're going to have, to have a week of Scandinavian films. Also, we're engaged in, fest in festivals. Uh, festivals are very popular. Uh, and um, as far as, Mo uh, as people in, Mos in Moscow are um, concerned, they have little opportunity to watch film f festivals. So we started to, to, bro to broadcast uh, uh, film festival winners. But for the first time in 23 years, uh, Moscow audience has a chance to see the winners of uh, this very festival. To be honest, I'm quite disappointed that, uh, that in most like, uh, likelihood, uh, audience uh, people are not uh, very, very eagerly uh, buying uh, tickets for a message for men, and we were thinking that uh, it would be more appealing for a wider audience, but so our expectations don't match the reality. But prob probably this brand festival, Message to Men, is not that developed or not that promoted in Moscow. But we keep, uh, we're, we're trying to stay optimistic. Apart from just staging screens, we try to s assist uh, documentarians who approach us with one request normally, uh, where to get funds. I like this question quite a lot, because uh, art has to be paid for. Second, uh, the goal of a documentarian, a documentary filmmaker, is not just to have an idea of what he's going to make a film about, but also to think who is he going to to show it to, and who, who he, is going to, or he or she is going to sell it to. Sometimes we see that it's a very, very great idea, but um, it might be not very popular with a wider audience. But launching a party has to have a clear idea of who are you going to, to make this film for. Uh, we also took part in a project called uh, uh, TV Train. 25 document documentarians uh, traveled around Russia in a train. So they shoot it short short films while traveling around Russia, and on their way back, they edited their short films, and we staged screenings of of those works. So the festival version is is a very good one, and is very popular. So we also support that sort of projects and follow them. This is our movie theater. We opened on the 6th June 
2013. We're located in the center of Moscow. We've been quite uh, lucky to have good supporters, who good funders. So I can be uh, sometimes persuasive, uh, and I, I was persuasive in in talking to Ria Novosti management. So we got uh, budget financing, but unfortunately that ended uh, in January this year. So. So the so this theater that we have it's it's not actually in our uh, own uh, platform. This is this is a, a building that was redeveloped. This is an archi um, the architectural monuments. And uh, last year we approached Moscow authorities uh, that that a uh, older warehouse could be remodeled to be a moving theater. And we found uh, we found uh, uh, financing for this redevelopment, and and now we have completed this work. This work, Zubos, uh, like it on Zubovsky Boulevard, uh, not two. So we daily we arrange five screenings. Initiating this project, we understood clearly that we can't uh, compete with uh, commercial multiplexes. We have a very small room for 92 seats, but it has to be a, uh, a point of attraction. So, so our, our home, uh, our building is cons consists of three rooms. It's uh, so, uh, three areas. So the, the audience itself, the, the house itself, the kind of lounge area. Some years ago, I I got acquainted with a work of a Scandinavian uh, de developer, but but his uh, chairs cost cost a lot. But I found our, our cheap Russian versions that looked also very good. So, so documentaries can come and work using the equipment that we have. This is a so-called media media tech me, me, media area that could cater for citizens of Moscow. Let, let's put it this way: documentary movie is is very trendy today. People people like talking about them liking documentary, but when you ask them specific questions, it's, it emerges that they have watched just some isolated items, but still they claim they do like. So I want the people not only claim they like cinema, uh, like documentary cinema, but so that they really know documentary cinema. And to attract more people, we have to talk to them about what is documentary about. And so in this area, it's not very clearly seen. So it features computers uh, using which everyone free of charge can come and watch a uh, selection of documentary films that we prepare for them. Uh, it can be uh, downloaded, it can be uh, stolen. So we come up with a selection of best 100 Russian documentaries. For example, 10 uh, films about art, 10 films about science. And, and you, if, if you as a documentarian want uh, your films to be seen in this, uh, in this environment, we can help you. This is we take pride uh, take pride in this uh, in audience room with so it was like an amphitheater like Greek uh, we modeled it on the Greek amphitheater. So the festivals that I have mentioned above on, on the 6th of June, having no um, no prom no promotion, we launched a beat festival about music. A second festival was a Moscow International Festival. We that we had uh, hopes with. So we had a lot of audience, a lot of interest. Uh, and, uh, and just uh, in one week, we're going to hold the, uh, a scientific film festival, 300, 360 degrees. We're going to feature some special programs that is going to be screened only in our uh, movie theater. 
So, uh, including uh, uh, award-winning uh, films from uh, Leipzig uh, festivals. So, we're going also to feature some Vitaly Mansky films. As far as commercial screenings are concerned and commercial distribution, why not involved in uh, dis dis distribution nationwide? We only show films in our movie theater. Unlike uh, 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 fictional film uh, movie theater, so they just wait and s sit and wait uh, till distributors uh, come saying that we have that and that films, but we work differently, we have to move uh, and to search. So, so last year we have traveled a lot, uh, talking to major players in Europe, uh, in, uh, in uh, Russia, talking to people that we have uh, a very unique uh, movie theater, but still we have had some success. Uh, we just um, sign a contract with them. We don't have exclusive rights. We just pay one percent of our relatives to to uh, uh, to the Russian Documentary Society, and forty nine percent we pay to to the uh, holder of uh, uh, of rights. So we have a discounted price for those disadvantaged uh, categories of people, uh, and students can see. Um, can see films uh, free of charge. I just wanted to add that apart from from commercial distribution, we are, commercial screenings we we arrange free screenings uh, five times uh, per week uh, in cooperation with the Discovery Channel about din uh, dinosaurs uh, and other uh, fascinating uh, topics. Uh, I have two kids aged uh, three and, and seven uh, who are very excited about those films. And our, our main project is a, a public uh, media tech or, uh, so that people can come and to get felt familiarized with the documentaries that ha are already um, on the market. So I understand that the, the of course the core of your initiative is a, is a theater in, in Moscow, but as you said, you're also doing internet talk shows, you're working together with 24Doc. Right. Mm -hmm. um, could I just ask one question? How many knew about this initiative before? Thank you. Okay. All of them Russians. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. I'm Danish, so that's okay. okay. <laughs> but I was I was wondering, um, what are your plans for the future? Are you planning to to uh, how how will you try to reach beyond Moscow? What are your, what are your plans? Could are you planning to uh, to start same uh, mm -hmm. initiatives on on movie theaters in other cities? No, смотрите, я конечно оптимист. Uh, certainly, I, uh, I'm a, I'm an uh, optimist, but I have, I w I have to stay uh, uh, realistic. Uh, so first of all, we have to concentrate on uh, promoting our movie theater. We have ambitions to penetrate the market further, but without making the first step, we can't uh, come to the second one. If our project is successful, uh, then we can reach further into the regions. Okay. We have time for just one or two questions. I can see down there. We need to get a mic down yeah, here. Please. I'm Victor, I'm a producer from St. Petersburg. Sofia, thanks a lot. I just, uh, I can't digest it all. Because it's it, it great. Uh, I I heard about 10% growth, and you, you, you told about 1,000% growth, uh, but on, on a smaller platform. But can you t tell me how many people watched your uh, broadcast, broadcasting with a talk show after screens? And isn't it? Uh, okay. And uh, if it's if it only can be contributed to Rio Novosti, what what else uh, did you do to reach to be that successful? The situation with the open screens and with uh, web broadcasting. It's prime time, evening time. It's Wednesday, work day. 
so that so why not why not show why not uh, uh, streaming the film itself but we, we also sc only broadcast the uh, the talk show after the screening it's a live uh, broadcast that can be seen from every location in Russia and at a particular point uh, three thousand viewers can uh, uh, can be viewing our talk show what's important is the uh, is the capabilities of RIA novice, the technical capabilities, and RIA novice is also an active player in the regions. So it's not quite a fair play, I have to say. If we just if we just arrange a broadcasting like this, I, I'm not sure that we reach uh, to so the, that much people. Me personally, I think that. It's, it's quite difficult to to to, to watch the only uh, the after film discussion without to, without watching the TV itself. So I I really want to talk to them and see those people who do it. In terms of ratings that Vera mentioned above, and the business in Russia involves some experimenting and involves lots of risks. What we do, we're just a typical Russian business. We don't have a business con a clear business concept. I think any uh, any Western entrepreneur, entrepreneur, German entrepreneur would would be horrified to see our uh, business approach. We we rely on private funding on the Russian funders, so Western funders, you know, uh, according to law, cannot support uh, this activity. So my last documentary work in Russian television, we uh, we, we made a film uh, uh, with uh, with, uh, with Katya Gardeva, a movie that cost 14 millions and 10 millions. We uh, we fundraised ourselves. So you have to be very enthusiastic. You have to trust in in, in victory. If you just sit and wait. You're not going to be successful any any time.